coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Starliner Saga comes to an end. Drone causes RAF and other flights to divert. And Vertigo Aero closes on A1 investment round. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Starliner Saga comes to an end. On September 6th, the Boeing Starliner completed a successful uncrewed landing at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. This concluded its accidental three-month stay on the International Space Station. The Starliner launched its first crewed mission on June 5th for what was supposed to be an eight-day stay. Due to helium leaks and issues with the control thrusters, its trip was extended and NASA was forced to transfer the crew to an upcoming SpaceX mission. The spacecraft had completed two successful uncrewed missions before this one. The spacecraft touched down at 10.01 p.m. local time. Reports indicated that while the landing was ultimately successful, the Starliner encountered some issues during the descent. These included minor turbulence and a slightly shaky touchdown, leading to some initial concerns. The spacecraft was recovered without major incident and will now ship out to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida for further inspection and processing. The mission was a part of NASA's commercial crew program. This allows private companies to launch test flights and establish themselves as an alternative to purely government-run space missions. Boeing Starliner spacecraft, despite having to ditch its crew on the ISS, has provided substantial data to prepare the company for future missions in the program. After the break, cops use drone to locate lost three-year-old. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Cops use drone to locate lost three-year-old. On August 25th, the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Department launched a search for a three-year-old boy who had wandered into a cornfield at night. Deputies utilized thermal drone imagery to locate the toddler and return him to his parents. The parents stated that their child had gotten lost in a field, which they described as being 10 acres in size and covered in six-foot-tall crops. Around 9.30 p.m., mere minutes after the mission began, a bright figure began to take shape against the evenly patterned cornrows. B. Mark Allen named new CEO at Electra. Electra announced that B. Mark Allen had been appointed as its new CEO. He comes to the company from Boeing, where he served as Chief Strategy Officer and SVP for Strategy and Corporate Development. At Boeing, Allen led the $5 billion customer finance business before joining the Executive Council, where he served as president of Boeing International, leading enterprise-wide activities. His other roles at Boeing include president of the Embraer Partnership, president of Boeing China, and general counsel of Boeing International. ASA releases 2025-26 remote pilot test prep. 
Aviation Supplies and Academics announced the release of the new edition of the 2025 through 2026 Remote Pilot Test Prep in softcover and ebook formats. The new edition includes the entire Prepware software and 24 month access to Prepware Online free of charge. ASA test prep books have been published for decades and have assisted millions of pilots and maintenance technicians in passing the FAA exams. The same applies to preparation for the FAA Remote Pilot Knowledge Exam. North Dakota advances UAS network toward commercialization. The North Dakota Development Fund announced it will establish a new state-run entity to further the commercialization of its Vantis UAS network. The entity will work to attract partnerships with the goal of generating revenue for the state. North Dakota is one of the leading centers in the country for developing and testing uncrewed aerial systems and is home to a thriving and growing number of research, military, and commercial entities. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone causes RAF and other flights to divert. A drone pilot flew his drone at altitudes over 12,000 feet on numerous occasions in the Boston, England area. That flights by the Royal Air Force, National Police Air Service, and an air ambulance had to divert to deconflict the airspace. Police said the drone pilot often flew his UAS between 7,000 and over 12,000 feet and displayed blatant disregard for the rules governing unmanned aircraft. As a result, the pilot Thomas Ling pleaded guilty in the Boston Magistrate Court and was fined more than 1,200 pounds, or about $1,600 USD. In addition, his drone was ordered to be destroyed. Police in Lincolnshire stated Ling's actions created a high risk to the safety of other pilots and residents on the ground. As in the U.S., regulations by Britain's Civil Aviation Authority state that drones must remain within visual contact by the pilot to prevent collisions with structures or other aircraft, and also are limited to a maximum altitude of 400 feet. The area where Ling was flying his drone is close to RAF Koningsby, where Typhoon aircraft and also the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight are based. After these messages, Vertigo Aero closes on A1 investment round. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Vertigo Aero closes on A1 investment round. Vertigo Aero announced it closed an A1 round of investment and exceeded the $4 million target established to accelerate development of its hybrid electric products. Vertigo manufactures hybrid electric power plants for reliable, high-performance aircraft and drones for the commercial and military market. Its chief products are the VH3 and VH4 hybrid power plants that are air-cooled, lightweight, high-performance, and can run on Jet A, JP8, or sustainable aviation fuel. The current investment round funding will be deployed to accelerate the development of the VH4 400 kilowatt power plant for high-performance electrified aircraft and drones. It provides enhanced sustainability, increased range, payload, and speed. A full-scale prototype is presently going through testing at Vertigo's Daytona Beach Technical Center in Florida. The Florida Opportunity Fund participated as a significant new investor in this latest tranche of funding, showing it sees Vertigo as a player in the growing high-tech aerospace and green-tech industries in Florida. 
Six Series A investors returned and increased their stake, including RTX Ventures, Diamond Stream Partners, and Cloudbreak VC. The company said because the demand for its A1 round was so robust, the size of the round has been increased above the target level to enable additional new investors to participate for two more months. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.